Hello, this is Moshimi. Today we shall be discussing some numerical problems which involve key concepts on kinematics. So let us discuss the numerical problems which are based on uniform and non-uniform motion. Mr. Bean, oh, Rowan Atkinson is one of my favorite ap actors. Let's see what he has to do. Mr. Bean starts walking on a straight road with a speed of 3 km per hour to a supermarket, distant 3 km from in home. On reaching the supermarket, he realizes that he has left his wallet home and immediately walks back home with a speed of 3.5 km per hour. Find the average velocity of Mr. Bean and his average speed over a time span of 60 minutes. Now, just have a look at this sum. He started on a straight road with a certain speed up till the supermarket and then he came back home. Try to visualize this. Suppose this is the initial point from which Mr. Bean started. He went up till the supermarket, say point B. His distance was 3 kilometers and he went, he covered the start journey with a speed of around 3 km per hour. And then he realized that he has forgotten his wallet home and so he immediately walks back home with a different speed now. The return speed was 3.5 km per hour. Now, we are asked to find out the average speed and average velocity. So clearly, Mr. Bean started from a point, went to the supermarket and came back home. So there is no change in displacement. The initial and the final positions being the same, the average velocity will be zero. It is the displacement. In fact, the total displacement over the total time. You can write this as total displacement over total time. Now, since displacement is zero, so this will give us an average velocity of zero for Mr. B. Now, consider the case of average speed. Now, we know speed is nothing but distance over time. So if we are asked to find out the time taken by Mr. Bean in going from his home to the supermarket, the time taken can be calculated as time equals distance upon speed. So this is distance upon the speed. Now during the start journey, the distance is 3 kilometers and the speed for the start journey it was 3 kilometer per hour. So we have a time of 1 hour that is 60 minutes. So this means that Mr. Bean in going from his home to the supermarket he took a total time of 60 minutes. Now we have been asked to find out the average speed over a time span of 60 minutes. So if Mr. Bean is traveling from his home to the supermarket in a time of 60 minutes with a speed of 3 km per hour, then that speed itself is the average speed in this case. So the average speed here is 3 km per hour. Now what if this time would have been 90 minutes. Now have a look at this. If this time would have been 90 minutes, then that would mean that Mr. Bean had come from his home to the supermarket. It took him 60 minutes and then he would have returned back and this time that remains, that is a period of 30 minutes, see. So in this case, what we would have to do is that for this 30 minutes, what is the distance covered by Mr. Bean? We would have to find that out. So during the return journey, as 
the speed is different. It is 3.5 kilometers per hour. So the distance covered in 30 minutes during the return journey would have been the speed multiplied by but the time taken. So the speed for the return journey is 3.5 multiplied by 30 over 60 because we would have to change the time minutes to hours while doing the problem and then we would have got the distance he covers for that remaining 30 minutes and after that distance has been calculated we would have to find out the average speed which would have been the total distance covered to the total time taken so the total time taken would be 90 minutes changed to hours and then the total distance covered would be 3 kilometers plus the extra distance that the uh, that Mr. Bean covers in 30 minutes. So now let us look at the second problem. So this was the one deduced. Now we have the second problem. It's a jet plane initially at rest makes a run for 30 seconds with an acceleration of 5 meter per second square before take up take off sorry find the minimum length of the runway and the velocity of the jet plane at takeoff so what all are given in the question the initial velocity of the jet plane is given it's zero because the plane was initially at rest and then the time taken to make the run was 30 seconds and the acceleration of the jet plane was 5 meter per second square we need to find out the minimum length of the runway that is, we need to find out the distance covered by the jet plane in that 30 seconds. And the second thing that we have to find out is the velocity of the jet plane at takeoff. That is, once it is making the run, what is the final velocity at the end of the run? That we need to take out. So let us try and solve this. So u here initially u is 0. u is 0 and then time taken to make the run is 30 second. We have an acceleration of 5 meter per second square. So the minimum length of the run runway that is the distance covered. First let us try to find out the velocity. We know from the equations of motion v equal u plus at. So the initial velocity is 0 plus the acceleration is 5 times the time. So we get the velocity of the jet plane at takeoff is 150 meter per second. Now we shall find out the distance traveled or the minimum length of the runway. Using this particular formula, we have S equal ut plus half at square. u is 0 times 30 plus half of this is 5 and t square is 30 square. So if we solve this, we'll get a distance of 2250 meters. So this is the distance that the jet plane covers before takeoff. Now the third problem, the displacement of an object Moving along the x-axis is given by x equal 30 plus 20 t square, where x is in meters and time in seconds. Find the velocity and acceleration and the initial position and initial velocity of the object. So we have been given the displacement of the object and we have to find out the velocity and then the acceleration and then the initial and final positions of the object. So let us do this one by one. So first let us note down whatever is given. The displacement x is given as 30 plus 20 t square. Now the velocity. Recall the definition of velocity. Velocity is nothing but the rate of change of displacement. So we know that velocity v is equal dx dt. So we are to differentiate the above equation and we can see that d dt of 30, a constant, is 0 and d dt of 20t square will give us a value of 40t. 
So this is the velocity of the object. Now here the formula that we have used is d dx of x to the power n is equal to n x to the power n minus 1. So this formula has been used here. So we are through with the velocity and now the acceleration. Now again recall the definition of acceleration. Acceleration is nothing but the rate of change of velocity. So we can write acceleration as equal to dv dt. So we differentiate this equation of velocity and we see that a comes out to be 40 meter per second square. This unit, we can write this down since it has been written that position x is in meters and time is in seconds. Now we are asked to find out the initial and the initial position and the initial velocity. So what is the initial position that can be found out from this particular equation? So the initial position means that we have to find out the position at time t equals 0. So taking t equals 0, we can write x, that is the initial position, Thirty meters. So this is the initial position and the initial velocity. Now what is the initial velocity here? Just look at the drawing. Consider the question. The displacement, the object, the initial velocity. To find out the initial velocity we shall consider the equation that we have received for velocity v was equal to 40 t. So we put t equal 0 here to find out the initial condition and then we see that velocity comes out to be 0. Now let us move on to the next question. A toy car moving with uniform acceleration covers 10 meter in second second and 20 meters in the fourth second of its motion. Find the distance covered by it in the sixth second. So this is a very important and a very interesting problem. We already we are aware with the formula for the distance covered by an object and the nth second and we shall be applying that to solve this problem. So let us first write down whatever is given in the question. We have the distance covered in the nth second is equal to u plus a by 2 twice n minus 1. So this is the formula and we'll put here the values that have been given. It, the toy car covers 10 meters in second second. So we have s2, the distance traveled in the second second is u plus a by 2 2 into the value of n is 2 here minus 1. So we get an equation for S2. Now S2 has been given as 10 meters. So we shall be applying this formula here. The value of S2 is 10. So this gives us an equation in this form u plus 3a by 2 is equal to 10. We number this equation as 1. Now considering the second case the toy car is covering 20 meters in fourth second. So we have S4 is equal to u plus a by 2, 2 times 4 minus 1, which is 20 meters. So we get an equation as u plus 7a by 2 is equal to 20. We number this equation as 2. Now, solving these two equations will give us the value of u and a. So, we can see from the two equations, if we are subtracting the two equations, u gets cancelled out and we get an expression for a. So, if we do this, we can do it as equation 2 minus equation 1, which will give us the value of acceleration as 5 meter per second square. And then this particular value of acceleration 
will put in any one of the equations to get an expression for u. So from any of the equations of 1 or 2, we can get the value of u, the initial velocity, as 2.5 meter per second. Now we are asked to find out the distance covered by the particle, by the toy car in the 6 second. So what we need to find out is S6, which is nothing but u plus a by 2, 2 into 6 minus 1, that is u plus 11 a by 2. So we will substitute the values of u and a from these expressions and then we get S6 as equal to 30 meters. So you can do the calculations and correspond your answers.